Okay, so we're with Jem from Trixie Pixies, and she is one of the designers from the catwalk that we've just had inside, which was absolutely awesome. And uh, I don't know if we can see in the background, but we were just doing all of your photo shoots at the moment with all the models. And how was how was it up there? Was it how was the the fashion show? Um, it was just such an amazing experience for a creative business such as my own. Um, having the opportunity to expose my art to um, a demographic that is really, really receptive to what I do. And I'm just feeling a lot of love um, from this event and this alternative community. Um, so you're, this isn't really BDSM gear. How would you describe what you do? Um, I describe it as uh, fantasy fashion or creative costuming. Um, I'm also a career circus performer, so I do uh, variety entertainment, um, and that is how I got into costume design, to try and find uh, fun ways to uh, decorate myself while I'm on the stage. Um, it does fit the uh, fetish aesthetic well though, because um, we've got the chokers um, and the leather. This is actually vegan leather, but it, it looks enough like leather so that it has that aesthetic. Um, and like I said, this community is really receptive towards what I do. Yeah, I, I was going to say a lot of the designers that we've seen, there's been a lot of stuff up there that hasn't really been bdsm -y gear, but it's been more alternative, it's been harnesses and a, a lot of stuff that seems to be getting a little bit more mainstream, a little bit more fashion, but still seems to really work with, with our community. Yeah. Um, how long how long did ago did you move into BDSM, sort of bring it into the community? Um, well, this is my second fetish expo, so last year was my first, um, my first catwalk experience as well. Um, I have had the business going for just over a year, so still quite early days, but I do consider my brand established because people are starting to recognise me and it's mostly because of amazing events like this. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, can you tell us a little bit about some of this stuff? I don't know if we can see the stuff in the background. Can we, can we move the gear? Can you tell us a little bit about some of it? Um, well, I suppose that I f uh, find sources of inspiration from um, ancient civilizations, mythology, um, pagan culture. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a labor of love, I keep saying. I sound like a broken record, but um, it does take a very, very long time to make it. But um, I think it's worth it. There's nothing else like it that's going around right now. Um, so yeah, people people love it, you know, and I love making it. So I do what you love and love what you do. So to speak. Beautiful. Now I know you got a lot to do in there, so I'm going to leave you okay. to it. Thank you so much for your time and have yeah. a great expo. Are you going to make it to any of the parties over Kingfest? Um, I'm definitely going to try to. I think I've worked really, really hard, so I definitely have earned myself. I'm going to go and cut loose a little bit and enjoy. Beautiful. I hope to see you there. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>